After having it for years and wearing it for years, I have come up with some tips, tricks, do's and don'ts to make it wearable, to make it enjoyable, to make it less high maintenance. Hi there, and welcome to my channel, I'm Liz. Are you new to linen or don't really get what all the hype is about linen? Or maybe you've tried linen in the past and thought it is way too high maintenance for you. Today, I wanted to share with you 10 tips or I guess 10 do's and don'ts uh, for linen in general. All right, don't number one is going to be don't start out with a wrinkled mess. So you do need to start off with a quick steam each time that you do wear it. So um, it should never be just a crinkly, squashed mess. It, it should never get to that point to begin with. But uh, from regular wear, from regular hanging up, it's gonna have a few uh, wrinkles and lines in it, but that kind of also adds to the character of it. So the do to this don't is do embrace the natural and relaxed look. It is part of the linen vibe. It is part of that kind of relaxed, laid back, but also elevated look and something that elevates it too is I think because a lot of people won't wear it. So whenever you can find something that a lot of people kind of steer clear from like white in general or linen or silk, anything like that, um, that's already an elevating look because a lot of people aren't doing it and it does look really nice. So if you are a type A personality, this can be difficult. I would say I'm a type A, and so it did take me a while to just chill out and embrace the relaxed look of a slightly wrinkled linen. Do number two is do opt for lighter color linens. Now I do have black linen pants. I have brown linen pants. Uh, I love them all. But if you're just diving into it, I would say uh, go for, you know, that kind of linen. I call it a linen color, but it's kind of like a sand, a light taupe, uh, or certainly white. Uh, they all look great. They also, if you go for a white that is light reflecting because the material is thinner. So it isn't gonna offer the same kind of sun protection either as you know regular fabrics will. So make sure to wear sun block if needed. And the don't to this do is don't neglect undergarments. If you are opting for a white linen pant, oftentimes they are see-through. I have searched high and low and tried to find the best non-see-through linen pants that I could. And I will have some options linked below as well for you. But uh, sometimes you come across either a great deal or a really great linen pant that you really like, that fits great, that you want. Um, and then you just need to consider the, the undergarments. So for pants, you know, you're going to want either some kind of light short underneath, a petty pant, um, biker shorts, something like that so that you can't see your underwear through. And the same thing with a top. Um, I find the linen tops aren't as see-through as the bottoms. Usually the bottom is the issue and I don't run into it as much with uh, dresses either. So mainly pants are the culprit. <laughs> So uh, do make sure to consider your undergarments and the sheerness of your linen pieces. All right, do number three is do consider it as a layering piece. I love a good white crisp button up or button down <laughs> as, a, as my third layer. So over a little dress, over a tank, uh, you can get a cropped version, you can get a tunic version, and it just adds an extra layer if you need just a little bit of sun protection, just a little bit of protection from the wind, or want to cover, cover up any problem areas or for a more modest look. So it is an excellent layering piece. 
And my don't for this section is gonna be don't shy away from the colors. So while I personally am kind of a neutral scowl, even I have some black linen pants, I actually have an orange pair of uh, linen pants that I love, uh, striped tops, uh, eyelet detail tops, there are all kinds of options in the realm of linen. They also offer linen blends if you're not ready to dive all the way into linen. So if you get a linen, you know, viscose blend or something blended with linen, it can still give you a lot of that breathability and a little more weight to it so that it is a little bit easier to manage. And do number four is gonna be do opt for loose Fits. Linen drapes beautifully, so choose a loose fitting or slightly oversized style for a comfortable and chic look. And my don't for this section is going to be don't limit linen to just casual settings. Although linen can be dressed up or down, uh, don't hesitate to wear it for a variety of occasions, including semi formal events. Do number five is do consider mixing textures. So this is something as a naturals kind of gal, I love to do. So I love dressing in kind of monochromatics or the same kind of color scheme. And my favorite way to kind of add interest to the look and kind of break it up is to mix the textures. So consider a linen top with some leather shorts or a linen top with a denim skirt or a satin or silk cami with some linen pants as I've done today. Uh, mixing textures is a great way to add some interest to the linen and you're still cool, you're still comfortable, you still have that you know, relaxed vibe but in a classy and elevated look. And my don't for this category is linen can't mix with everything, anything, or it shouldn't. <laughs> so I would avoid like chunky knits, uh, sequins, wool, or big bold contrasting patterns uh, might be a little much. Linen gives the vibe of an airy and cool and relaxed kind of material. And so if you kind of just always think of that, more sleek and minimalistic uh, is the way to go with linen. Linen do number six is do choose kind of breathable, uh, open and airy shoes. So I would say any kind of sandal, wedges, even espadrilles are great options with any of your linen looks. Uh, if you're doing a linen dress, you could even do some strappy sandals, uh, heels would be beautiful. My don'ts for this would be avoiding any like chunky boots, uh, Uggs, any sporty sneakers, um, or really high heels. So again, keeping with that airy, relaxed, um, kind of elegantly minimal vibe. Just following the linens uh, vibe and, and lead to dictate the rest of the outfit is really what you wanna do. And you're just kind of thinking elevated and minimalistic and you'll be great every time. All right, and these next few points are very important. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about linen care. So do wash your linen carefully. There are, I have found that really all pieces require special care. The more gentle you are with any of your fabrics, whether they're higher end or lower end, does matter. Um, you know, there was a time when, you know, I had, I was, you know, just buying whatever and everyone said, oh, you need the nicer, you know, materials, the silk and the 100% cotton and the linen and this and that, and it'll last and last. And I found if you wash it just like you wash your normal stuff, any of the stuff will be ruined. So you have to be mindful about washing 
uh, care. So for linen, I would say don't overload the washer. You don't wanna wash a lot of pieces. You don't want it all scrunched in there with your towels and things. So definitely, you know, have kind of a gentle cycle. So it is better for linen to hand wash or wash on gentle with cool water. You don't wanna use bleach. You don't wanna use harsh detergents. All that stuff is going to break down the natural fibers a lot faster. And my don't for this uh, tip is don't overwash. If you don't need to wash it, don't wash it. <laughs> you know, um, I think that I learned it was okay to not wash when I started collecting a lot of dry clean only stuff because you certainly can't go get things dry cleaned after one wear. So this goes hand in hand with that is you, you know, you wear something, if, it, if you get a spot, spot clean. Uh, hang dry. Another thing you can do, um, I will hang, you know, like say whatever it is, uh, linen pants or cashmere sweater or whatever, hang it up out in the, kind of in the sun or a covered patio. You don't want to leave it in the sun too long because it can uh, dye it. But, you know, I think that the sun has kind of a disinfecting agent to it but also just leaving it outside to air out does a world of wonders and you really don't need to be washing, you know, really any of your stuff after one wear unless it is necessary. If it's soiled or smelly, of course wash it, but just to wash it just because you wore it really isn't necessary. Goes hand in hand with that is do opt to dry naturally. So oftentimes, um, well, I always hang dry my linen, a linen and a lot of my other items. Uh, so I either hang them up and then I have these um, little over the door kind of hanging options that you can do. So if you don't have a lot of room, these can fit anywhere over your bedroom door or any, you know, closet door, anything in your house. And just let, you know, the whatever, four or five garments you washed hang up there. If you have stairs in your house, you can just hang them over the little balcony or, you know, the, the railing there. So there are uh, options to hang dry. And really it's, you know, you leave it there for a day, come back and, and it's dry the next day. And my don't with this one is you don't want to hang uh, any items that are really heavy linen for long periods of time, especially if it's wet, so, or really delicate even. So that's where kind of uh, putting it over a ledge or something, you could even put it out uh, flat on a towel or um, a space that you have as well, but really just avoiding the dryer. <laughs> The dryer actually destroys a lot of clothes, you guys. So if you don't know that, that was something I didn't realize. Uh, the less stuff you can put through the dryer, the better. I mean, it makes whites dingy. It destroys all kinds of materials. I know it's great for quickness, but it really isn't good for a lot of the materials um, and, and that heat. And so, you gotta, you gotta kind of figure it out. And unfortunately, you know, I have ruined a lot of clothes figuring this stuff out. And so hopefully these tips are helping you. And if they are and you're enjoying this video, be sure to give me a like and let's get on to the next tip. All right, and my 10th do is something I didn't know for a long time, but if you iron your linen, iron it when it's slightly damp. Uh, once it's all the way dry, though any like big creases and things in there are gonna be harder to get out. So if you want a really crisp look, I would say give it a good ironing while it's still slightly wet, but like mostly dry. Uh, if you miss that window of time, of course, just spray it and then iron. A lot of times what I will do is, you know, when I, after it comes out of the wash and it's still wet, I'll shake it out. Uh, to try to shake out any wrinkles, hang it up, and then that is pretty good at getting it mostly to where I wanna be, is just letting it dry in a good state, and then I just steam it before wearing it. So once you go through that process, then it's pretty good to go until you have to wash it next time. So for instance, like my Palazzo pants, you know, after I wash them and go through that process, 
Once they're all pressed or, or ready to wear, I'll wear them. Of course, they get a little wrinkled. I'll hang them up nicely for the next time. And before I wear them the next time, I'll just take my steamer and steam out any big creases. Small ones don't bother me at all. I think it adds to the character of it. And a couple don'ts that I wanted to add on with this last one is don't just take a really hot iron to your dry linen and just press and try and get it out. You can uh, mess up the material, leave weird marks, and you're just doing way more work than is necessary. So if that does get to that uh, spot, then just take a spray bottle and, and spray it or you know the little sprayer on your iron and just let it uh, settle down and then iron or again uh, you know the steamers my steamer that I use works really good I find I don't really iron I don't want them that crisp because then I think any wrinkles are more noticeable so I kind of like the a little bit crinkled look I would just use my steamer for any big creases that happen to get in there on the previous wearing and then um, I think I touched on this, but this is important. If you do get a stain, most of my linen is white. You need to get that out right away. So definitely have, you know, the little bleach pin, uh, even though you're not supposed to use bleach on the whole thing. Sometimes I've gotten makeup on, on a white linen and you need to get that out. Actually, what's worked the best for me is this little soap bar that I actually got to remove grass stains from my son's football pants. <laughs> so if I could find that, I'll link that below too. Of course, you know, OxyClean, but uh, some of my linen pieces are really expensive. So anytime that I have gotten anything on them, I am on it right away because I do not want those to get ruined. So there are an array of prices of linen. I mean, you can find great linen. I've gotten great linen shirts from Zara for 20 bucks and I've gotten, you know, shirts from Saks for 200. So you can find anything and everything in between. And of course, 100% linen, linen blends. There's a whole world of linen. I would definitely suggest diving in. It is fun it is worth it the only thing you really need to worry about that I would say you need to do on a wear to wear basis is have a steamer <laughs> that's the most important one and the rest just wear it be relaxed be elevated and have a great time with it and so if you're ready to dive into the world of linen I'll link uh, my a couple how to wear linen videos that I've done uh, here for you and below so that you can check out next. I thank you so much for dropping in for this video and hanging out with me. I hope that you come back and visit me on the next one and I hope that you have a great day. I'll see you soon.